right in my face. That is right in there. Well, hello there, guys. Today I'm with Ben, demonstrator from Crawford's, and we are in the lovely, well, Ben, what is it? The new FEM 724, uh, Generation 6. From the old, was it the Gen 5, I suppose? Uh, it used to be known as the S4, um, and it's a completely different armrest, the same driving style um, with the joystick, push forwards to go faster, pull back to go slower, a lot more controls on the joystick. It looks, it looks a nice place to sort of rest your arm there. Yeah, it's a lot more comfortable than the older model. Because there was that little joke on it about yeah. getting, getting cramped in your, <laughs> your, your hand. Uh, green and yellow friends. That's it, but, that's um, it. Yeah, all of these buttons mainly used to be over on the blister panel as everyone would have remembered. The cruise control and the, the engine memory functions used to be on the top of the joystick. So they moved now. But we've also got a dedicated auto steer button. All right on the top there. Right on the top there. So we don't have to make a, a completely separate headland management sequence just for the headland. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we can carry on as our, with our go and end buttons as we do for our up and down and our turn sequence. Yep, and then just whack the GPS as we're doing our main trip work. Uh, the other three buttons are also fully assignable to do any function, and at a later date they will also be available to do all of us auxiliary end functions. Oh, so like obviously controlling your you're in, you're in straight from yeah, quite like that new, like the heads up instrument panel screen. Yep. Well, that is standard. You see, this is fitted with the um, the third terminal up on the roof. Of course, you see it there. See. Which can be um, shut down to half size if you're just on on the road and you do a bit of a trailer work. Oh, so you can. Whack it up a bit so it doesn't block your view as such. Yep. I must admit, it is a very, very pleasant place to be. Looking away, look at that. So is that. That's still fully functional like that as well, so we can select on here what we want to do. And then to let it back down, you just push up. Yeah, pop down. And down she comes. What sort of running, is that like a almost an engine running screen can you have? Yeah, so I've just set it up here as basically our front hitch. This will be in the middle part of our tractor and the rear hitch. And then because all of the lighting controls and aircon and radio have now all been integrated within the tractor yeah. itself, I tend to add them along the bottom there. So if you are doing road work, trailer work, yeah, they're so still easy, easy accessible. Easy to read. And you can see all that yeah. driving your head back. But you can also Use the main scroll. Oh, and navigate through is there as well. Navigate through the screen. They fall of everything at the back. Yeah, tap it once on any of the six tiles. Go full screen. It's so easy to navigate through. The infotainment, we can then go through. There's a couple of dials down the side here, so they just twist for volume, and then you can nudge left and right for same next tune or next radio station, whatever you want to use. The same for the aircon, we can adjust our temperature by turning and nudging from the fan speed. I can't knock that. I must admit, jumping in a fin recently, I, 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 I love them from the outside and the power and everything like that, but coming inside and having to sit in some of the older models, it felt like just there's a lot of colours and a lot of buttons going on there. It's almost like that they've been, this has been a long time coming for some people, like obviously. And Definitely, yeah. I know there'll be a few people who have called it the early learning centre, but <laughs> once, once you've got your head around the colours, the colours all 
between something. So yeah. if, it's, if it's anything blue, it's to do with hydraulics oh, so and hand cars. Yeah. Oh, so I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah. that. So anything blue that you'll see within the screen or on, on any of the buttons on the joystick or anything, so that means that they're, they're sports. Yeah. If anything yellow, that means the PTO. So you'll see that PTO yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything orange is to do with transmission and full drive. And then usually yeah. anything white is auxiliary air. Button in the middle there, beacons. The twin beacons. <laughs> no fence is complete without our twin beacons. Oh, no. Yeah, so the other thing that is new, um, this is the new 3L joystick. So you'll see later on in the year this will become a fully ice bus auxiliary hand joystick. So there'll be three layers within that joystick. Can't quite see, but there's a little trigger on the back there, which means that when you operate this, it will give you three layers. Nine functions on each layer. Oh, all so, the functions. So within the top top dial and the side to side, front to backwards, uh, there'll be 27 functions available on that one joystick. <laughs> uh, and this is also running the new Trimble Grade 2 receiver. Oh, right, yeah. Which uh, is unlocked to talk to the new constellations of satellites. Sounds very boring, but it also means that we get better coverage. Ah, so you've got more coverage than previous. Yeah. Such. So we would like to think that we will probably see an extra 10 satellites uh, than what we usually do. I'm at any one point as such. Yeah. That's good. I mean, losing your GPS nowadays is yeah. so easy it's for uh, people to rely on it. Yeah. I, I mean, know we're still using the markers here today, but... Um, I think with drilling is almost... It's, it's one thing you don't want to miss up, isn't it? No, but, exactly. So, we're right next to the main road. Never want to see it. <laughs> Yeah, and plus on demos, I never know where the coverage is good and where the coverage is bad, so it's just set it up to do it. Just set it up, do it, and I don't have to Professional.
Well then, guys, the new Fent 724 Gen 6. Um, it was getting a little dark, so I couldn't really do a proper outro when I was there. So here's my little outro now. A little recap. First of all, huge thanks to Ben for showing us around the new cab, the new armrest, all the new features of the new Gen 6. Secondly, what an absolute machine that was. Really quiet, really nice inside, comfortable, full of all the mod cons, screens for days. I love a screen. All new features, all new armrest. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. It's been a long time uh, coming for Fent to bring something out like that from the uh, early learning centre, as uh, as they call it. What an absolute, absolute cracker of a machine. Re really, 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 really enjoyed my time in there. So until next time, guys, like, subscribe, drop a comment. Let's have a little chat about it. Bye for now.